Hello and welcome to this new video tutorial of multi window marketplace goods and services tax extension and in today's video tutorial I'll be showing you how uh, the sellers of the marketplace and the admin as well can set the GST the HSN code how they can mass update the GST rates for all of their products and how they can basically specify their GST IN number and uh, apart from that we'll also be showing you the customer front wherein we'll be showing you how the customers would be able to check the tax that's applicable on the product itself and the tax uh, basically gets uh, displayed within the emails and the PDF apart from that the HSN code would also be displayed on the invoice uh, for the orders that have been placed within the marketplace itself now let me take you to the web store front end first uh, for the multi vendor marketplace uh, GST extension first and there I'll be showing you how the sellers uh, will be able to set up uh, all the details for the GST itself and then we'll come to the uh, admins end and then the customer flow thereafter so now let me take you to the web store front end first also uh, before moving further let me give you a small gist about this uh, plugin itself so basically uh, in, within the multi vendor marketplace by webcool it is uh, not easy to implement the GST because there are many vendors who come across from different states and are selling their products on uh, your web store so uh, it is not necessary that each of them is well educated and aware of the GST also as we know that in the e-commerce business things are changing rapidly and in between this meeting the compliances of e-commerce is also very important for the operators so for that you need to divide the whole tax implementation thing as per the product and per category and this particular plugin basically solves this issue of the goods and services tax so now let's go to the front end so uh, right now i'm at the uh, magento to multi vendor marketplace uh, front end as you can see right now so i'll be logging into my seller account first so for that i'll just tap here on the sign in link at the header so i'm on at the uh, login section now so i've already entered my email and password for my seller account so i'll just tap on the login button here and this would uh, log me into my seller panel after logging on the uh, left hand side under the marketplace dashboard here you can see this particular block is there within that we have different uh, submitting options so after uh, the admin has installed and uh, configured this particular GST plugin from the backend the uh, sellers would have this particular option that is the GST configuration option wherein they can basically set it up so let me tap that up and I'll just open that in uh, another window so here we are on the uh, manage GST configuration uh, section after tapping here on the uh, GST configuration now here uh, two different things can be done by the uh, respective seller first of all he can set the GST configuration and the other thing is that he can basically mass update the product so with their GST itself so uh, the uh, seller just needs to tamper, uh, download the uh, default.csv file open that up and uh, just enter the details of the products along with their uh, GST rates so uh, if I tap here on the default CSV you'll see that the file has downloaded let me open that up so uh, this G default DST uh, file looks like this it's a comma separated value file so here you can enter the product ID set the GST percent set the uh, GST min price GST percent max and the HSN code as well and similarly for bulk products you can set these up and after that you just need to upload that particular file from here by tapping here on the choose button and uh, that would bring up the section wherein you'll be able to choose your particular uh, CSV file so here we are on the document section and from here we can basically my bad uh, we just need to go to the downloads and here we have the default CSV file and we just need to uh, open that up here and then we just need to tap here on the upload button and that will start uploading the details for the GST for all of the products that are there within that particular CSV file so under the set GST configuration here the uh, seller can enter his GST uh, identification number and uh, thereafter he can also choose the production state accordingly and then he needs to tap here on the save button to save the set GST configuration 
So under the manage GST configuration, the sellers can set the GST and their uh, production state. Apart from that, they can mass update products with their respective GSTs uh, by using a CSV file. They just need to download the file, enter the required info for all of the products, choose that file, and then upload it so as to mass update the products within his own account panel. Now, uh, after this, uh, now let's see how uh, the uh, seller would be able to set the GST for his product. So for that, uh, we'll go to uh, my product list. Or we can also go to the new product uh, section as well. So uh, let's go to the uh, new one first. And let me remove this uh, from here. So we are on the marketplace add new product section. Uh, so basically uh, the sellers can uh, add the GST values uh, to a new product or an existing one as well. So here after you've chosen your attribute set and uh, your product type, just tap here on the continue button. And uh, thereafter you can set the uh, details for the product by choosing the categories and the other things. So uh, within that uh, particular info section here, uh, you'll just have to scroll down a bit and uh, here you'll find uh, the option basically uh, to set the GST rate in percentage for this uh, particular product that you're going to create. So for example, if you set the GST rate, you can set it in percentage like 20% and you can set up your HSN code accordingly. And thereafter, you just need to enter the minimum price to apply uh, different GST. So if the product comes under the minimum price that you've set here, at that time different GST rates would be applied to that particular product and lastly you just need to set the uh, GST rate to apply below minimum price so uh, here you can set the uh, uh, set the uh, minimum price in percentage for the GST rate to apply uh, below minimum price for the particular product so that's how you can go to the uh, uh, go to a new product and add the GST details and the HSN number and let's go back here uh, to the marketplace product list for this uh, seller. So we can also edit any of the products. So let's edit this one. And uh, here also after editing, you can set up the uh, GST rate and HS and all the other details for the GST itself. So here I'm at the uh, marketplace edit product page for the seller product. And we just need to scroll down. And here we'll find the details for the uh, GST. So here you can set the GST rate, the HSN code, the minimum price to apply different GST, GST rate to apply below minimum price in percentage, and then you can save your already created product by tapping here on the save button. You can also uh, check our user guide that I have uh, basically attached uh, within the uh, comment section below uh, to get the complete uh, understanding of how this works, what is GST, the components, what is the CGST, SGST, IGST, what are the benefits of GST, how it can impact uh, the e-commerce industry, the features and the workflow as well. So that was much about the vendor end, how we can uh, set up the GST there and the different other details for the products, uh, each of the products there. Now uh, let's go to the admin backend panel and uh, let's see how the admin would be able to configure the same under his own account panel. So for that, uh, we'll just uh, enter our username and password and I'll tap here on the sign in button to access my uh, backend panel for the admin for the multi vendor marketplace uh, GST plugin that we have. So after the admin has logged into the backend panel, he needs to set up a few uh, initial configurations there. So for that, I'll just navigate through stores and then configuration. And on the configuration page under the web cool block, uh, we just need to uh, navigate to the marketplace GST sub menu option. So I'll just tap on that. So this is just an instance uh, for the demo purposes. Right now, other modules are also being installed. So after you successfully install this particular plugin, you just will have uh, the marketplace GST. Also, this is an add on for the marketplace itself. So that is required for. Uh, the proper working of the marketplace GST plugin itself. So, so here the admin can enable uh, this particular functionality for the marketplace. That's the GST functionality. Apart from that, the admin can enter his uh, GST in, and then he needs to choose his production state, and then he needs to tap here on the save configuration button. Now let's see uh, how the admin would be able to set the HSN uh, code. 
uh, product wise and how we can basically mass update the GST rates for all of his products so this was the GST iron uh, uh, setting and the uh, production state now let's uh, navigate to uh, marketplace management and uh, here you can see that under the marketplace management we have the mass update GST so from here the admin can mass update the GST uh, details for each of the products there and to uh, add uh, the GST rate to a particular product the admin needs to navigate through catalog and then products so here we are at the marketplace GST section where the admin can basically upload a CSV file having uh, the uh, product uh, details and the GST rates uh, and the other information for the same and uh, multiple products can be added to that uh, particular CSV file and then the admin can uh, upload that uh, file here so as to mass upload the marketplace GST values for the products. So you can navigate to this section by marketplace management and then mass update GST. Now uh, I'll show you more about this but let's go to the product uh, section first. So uh, the admin can add the uh, GST details uh, for the products so one by one as well and uh, for the uh, already created products and for the new products as well. So uh, let's uh, create a new product and let's see how the admin also can uh, add the GST details for that particular product. And in the meantime, uh, I'll just show you the file. Uh, you can download that particular uh, file from here from this uh, default.csv link. And after opening up, you'll find the uh, grids here, as you can see, and the columns like the product ID, GST percentage, GST minimum price, maximum price, and the HSN code. So here you can set up the product IDs of uh, multiple products that you have, and accordingly set the rest of the info there. And then you just need to upload this particular file by tapping here on the choose file button. And you open that file, and that is added here. Thereafter, you just need to tap here on the submit button to add those uh, particular products in bulk along with the GST information so now let's go to the product page once again so here we are on the new product page as you can see so we just need to navigate uh, or we need to scroll down a bit and here the admin can set the GST rate in percentage for this particular plug, uh, uh, product that he's going to create he can also set up the uh, minimum price to apply different uh, GST and he can also set up the GST rate to apply blue minimum price and uh, you can also set up the HSN, HSN code for this particular product. Now uh, let's go to the customers and let's see how the customers would be able to view the uh, GST details for any of the products that they are going to purchase within the cart itself. So for that let me take you to the front end customer section now. So uh, I'll be logging into my account first uh, so I'll just tap here on the sign in button. Now I'll enter my credentials and I'll tap login button. Now I've added uh, two quantities of the pot product. Now let me go to my cart by tapping here on the Wave and Edit Cart uh, link. So within the shopping cart here, uh, as you can see right now, uh, tax is zero. So what I need to do is I need to choose my country. So from here, the customers can uh, basically check the uh, tax that would be applicable for their product. Now I'll select my uh, state I'll enter my zip code and according to that uh, and uh, after selecting my uh, shipping method as you can see India UP and my zip code I've entered I've chosen my shipping method and here now you can see that under this section GST here you can see the SGST is 21.60 dollars CGST 21.60 and uh, there's no IGST applicable on this particular order that we're going to place. So we can also tap here to collapse this GST detail or this to, uh, to, to, to display the GST uh, detail itself. And after that, the customer just needs to tap here on the uh, proceed to checkout button to place an order uh, within the Magento to multi vendor marketplace store. Also note that uh, the IGST applies uh, when the uh, customer and the seller are from different states and uh, if the customer is from uh, customer and the seller are from the same state then the SGST and the CGST applies and uh, the customer can also basically add the GST number under their own account panel so let me show you that as well so for that I'll just go to my account section I'm sorry for that we just need to navigate to the address book under the customer account and there we can set up our 
GST uh, for the customer. So here we just need to, so we'll just edit our uh, address by tapping here on the edit uh, link because we have multiple addresses. So on the edit address uh, page on the end here, as you can see, so here the customer can enter his GST uh, IN here on the uh, left hand side under the contact information and then also uh, edit the address as per his own requirement there and thereafter he can tap here on the save address button to save the address along with the GST IN. So uh, that was much about the Amazon to multi vendor marketplace GST extension by Webcool and I hope it helped you out in understanding the workflow. If you still have any questions or queries regarding this particular plugin then you can always get back to us at support at the rate of webcool.com or you may raise a ticket at webcool.uvidus.com. Thanks for watching this video. And